It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee, oh But there's something holding on Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina. Welcome to my home. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we are doing a continuation of our little video series in which we are styling up the sunroom and going through each element one by one. So today, we are going to be talking about the coffee table. I thought it'd be really fun to show you how we can style up the coffee table three different ways really simple ideas that you can easily replicate. These are ideas that are super simple. You probably have most of these items already on hand. And just in case you don't, I will add all the links below for the items used in the video or something that's similar. A lot of times I like to use items that are vintage or there's something that we have found on our travels. You guys know that we love to bring adventure home. The way that we do that is by bringing in these unique things that we found, whether we're traveling just across the neighborhood to the other side of town or all the way across the world. Bringing those adventures home is what will make your home feel unique and it will really feel like you. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. You'll have to let me know which one of these three is your favorite and um, I can't wait to show you the rest of the room. You see we've got a blank wall just waiting for some art and I've got a cabinet to style. So definitely stay tuned for all that and let's just jump straight in. For our first look today, we're doing a very collected look. So I have a glass dome that I'm putting in here. I'm actually leaving the dome off of one of these. You don't have to use the glass just because you have one of these little cloches. So you can definitely get creative, add beautiful books, a great candle. It makes the space smell really good. And it just feels like things were just sort of gathered and they are literally gathered in this space. They're sea life and some really pale books. Color and texture are great ways to really bring the essence of summer into a space without making it scream summer. So we brought a little bit of coral in here, but the rest of it doesn't have a season. It just feels like it's been collected over time and that's what I really love. For look number two, I've loaded the table with lots of color. I know this will be shocking to those of you who have been around here for a long time. I know that I don't normally have a lot of color, but this is a great excuse to pull out all of your blue books and just go for it. I've also added a ton of white to this that really just keeps it feeling light and airy. It feels very collected again. And I just really like adding a lot of plants and a lot of greenery. I think that this just makes a space feel very light and airy and it brings a, a life into the space. And of course, everybody in my family loves these little glass timers and it's just a fun interactive element that makes the space feel like something you should sit down in, something you can actually touch and it's not too fragile. Maybe it's a little fragile, <laughs> but if you have little ones, this may not be the best, but for older kids, it's fine. And I really love it. For look number three, I wanted to do something very minimalistic, but I really wanted to go for something that just really had a lot of power to it. It's amazing how when you use fewer things, you actually can make an even bolder statement because what you use has a very loud voice. So bringing in a beautiful bouquet of limbs that have just been trimmed from a tree, it just, it, it's a wow factor thing and it's gorgeous. So you don't have to fuss over it too much. It's not supposed to be perfect. And I think that these sort of imperfections make the space feel very approachable. They make the space feel very alive and very inviting. And you know, when these are gone, then you just switch something out. And if you want something smaller the next time, that's what's so fun about it is that this is a room that you can really enjoy over the course of the season. Of course, I absolutely love these little spiked vases. I had to have these. I know that they feel a little bit summery. They remind me of anemones, and I think that they're so cool. Is there this? Are they called anemones? I think they are. I'm not sure. But either way, they feel like summer, and I love them. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video as much as I have. It's always a blast to just 
pull out all your stuff, see what you've got, and just create something really beautiful. I hope that you have found some really great tips and tricks, and I would love to hear from you which one of the three is your favorite. It's always fun for me to hear what jumps out at you and what you really like, so please write down in the comment section which one of these three was your favorite, and don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and of course visit us at Instagram and Facebook. Love it when you guys connect with us on all different platforms. It's such a joy to get to be a part of your homes and a part of your lives. And we always love when you come for a visit at ours. So thank you so much for stopping by and we will see you in the next one because there's a lot more to do like this wall over here. Yeah, and some shelving over here. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm. <laughs> No one should have this much fun styling things up, but I really do. So, okay, see you then. Bye. <laughs>